Welcome to Road Ventures Hawaii. I'm Nick Morris. This is what we do. Like and subscribe, boys. What is up? Good morning, my adventure crew. Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Road Ventures Hawaii. First time here, welcome aboard. Coming back. Welcome back aboard. I'm Nick. That's my boat. We're not on it today. The weather's been terrible, as you can see. Look at how gray skies. It's been raining. The rain literally just stopped. I walked out of the house. Um, we have to make a few stops for our vlog video today. Gotta do some stuff. And one of the things we have to do for sure is put line on our reel because I forgot to do that last week. I wanted to go fish off the boat today, but it's terrible wind. It's supposed to be super, super windy. Tomorrow's supposed to be super, super windy. So if the rain breaks, we're going to go from shore tomorrow. If not, then I don't know if we'll have a video on Friday. We'll see. But next week for sure, the weather breaks for a couple of days, we'll be going on the boat for sure. Let's go make our first stop of the day. We have to get lunch. That's the most important part of the day. Wouldn't you say, Alicia? Mm hmm Alicia, lunch. lunch. All right, here we go. So Alicia went to one of my favorite spots. I made her go get the food. So let's see what she got. Pokey on the run, pokey on the run. What'd you get, what'd you get? Garlic chicken and kamikaze pokey. And I got kamikaze pokey two times. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's about to be good. I would say lunch was a success. Poke on the run. You can never go wrong with that spot. Time to put line on our reel though. We'll always fishing supply. Let's go put some line on our reel. Okay, so let's get the line that we need. I'm gonna go at the um, the Daiwa, the J, the J braid, the times eight. Super good line, but there's two different ones. It's a grand. The grand one was the better one. I think anyway. I want the grand, the times eight, the gray, 30 pound test. That should be more than enough. Good line. Super good line. That should be it. Let's go put this line on the reel. So we got our line. We're gonna use this. Dennis is gonna put the line on for us. But I told him I want the spool a little bit fuller because if I just put this straight on there, the spool will be um it'll be a small diameter spool. So the, the reel's gonna actually spin more to get the line out. So if you put a little bit backing on the inside, a little bit backing of just regular mono inside, the spool will be a little bit fatter. So when I put this on top, it'll make the full a little bit bigger. So when the line comes off, it's not spinning as fast, if that makes sense to you. And I mean, maybe I can get the line drop a little faster. I don't know if it make a difference, but maybe. So Dennis is looking for some, some just cheap line, cheap line that I can go inside before this stuff. What pound test is that? 30. You want bigger? No, no, it's fine. So we're gonna put some 30 mono first and then we'll put the 30 braid on top. So we put 100 yards of 30 pound mono on there and now we're gonna be putting the braid. I think 100 yards of mono should be enough to give it just enough fatness where it'll drop faster. In theory, in theory, we'll see. Time for the braid now. All right, thanks to Dennis for spooling up the lead reels, as usual, but you see what I mean? It, there's a little bit lip on there, which is fine. That way, if you really, it doesn't have to be wrapped back and forth straight, where it won't ball up in the middle and hit your, hit your, uh, I don't know what that is, like your, your frame, I guess. So 100 yards of mono, we'll top to it 300 yards of braid. So we have 400 yards on here, strictly for Opelu and maybe some bottom fishing, which is more than enough that we need. So let's get this, let's get out of here, and then we have to make one more stop before we go home. All right, thank you, Sandy. Thanks, bye. Okay, thanks. All right, we're out. Okay, yeah, thanks Roy. Thanks Dennis. Bye. Bye. All right, we're out of here. Now let's go to Campania Lures. I have to get something from over there that my dad saw in my last video that he wanted. So I'll show you guys that. We'll get that. Got a spool. And Lincoln's crying. Lincoln is not happy at all. So we're going to Campania Lures right now. Trying to finalize, get some last minute things for our meetup, March 7th, if you haven't marked yet. March 7th, uh, I think it's gonna be Santa Island. I actually thought about it. I'm actually gonna go fish over there tomorrow. 
go whip over there, check it out, scout it out. See if it's good for a meetup. So we're at company right now, and let's see who we can scare today. I knew it was How did you know it was me? I don't know, I had a feeling. Uh, I don't like how you answer the door all nervous. That's what I thought, that's what I was like. Oh. Uh, you know me too good already, nobody's here. Hmm. Oh, I get a chair, check him out. Yee! Yeah, always, come on now. Come on now. What it do, guys? What it do? Show me stuff. Hey! Yeah, I'm <laughs> eating a little bit of a little salad here. I want a potato. What you shooting? Nothing. Oh, what is this? What color is whoa, this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. What is this? What, what color is this? This is a new one, huh? How come it looks so green? It's always green. <laughs> what, dime bag? For yeah, all. dime bag is always green. It's always that green? Yeah. Color blindness. So you see that? That's why I was like, how come it looks so green it, here? He usually sees it in gray. You know what, I mean? <laughs> what is this gray? What is this gray, Lord Jerry? Oh, this time bag is green. This <laughs> dick face is over here. <laughs> so, the main reason I came to Campania Lures was because Ahab, my dad, was in a big eye, and I was like, hey, I saw your video. I need that in my life. So, I came over here to get the. We left it on the side for you, buddy. The Banana Rama hat. Check that out. He's a monkey in the big eye. He's like, hey, no bananas, right? So he wants a banana hat to go fishing. That's gangster. So Ahab, this will be sent out to you. If you're watching this, it's already in the mail. All right, so banana around my hat. So about to leave Jerry's shop. I needed some albino. I mean, albino? Abalone. I need some abalone. So I just bought a pack of abalone. And then uh, Jerry gave me a couple of the, what are they called? Angerie. Angerie color curry tails to sample. So I got those. So I'm going to sample those. And then... He showed me a new, like I said, I always tie my own flies from him for uh, Opelu, but my flies are all broken. I'm lazy, so I'm going to use some of these because it makes it easier in life to use the blood worms. So these are called Naked Jades. Naked Jades. Oh, just by looking at how shiny they are, this is going to be Opelu action. But next week, I know we're going to break in the weather, so I'm probably going to go on Monday to film next week's video. And we're going to do some Opelu action. You'll see these guaranteed. Uh, but apparently those right now, you're looking at where? We're going to put it. You probably won't be able to get stores only online. I think what they're seeing or in the store over here. You won't see it in shops just yet because it's a new color. So you'll see that on their website. Uh, like I said, always links and info are always in my bio. You can check out their website in the bio. Uh, and I think that's all I need. So if you're watching this, I'll see you tomorrow for a fishing video. Uh, whipping tomorrow because the weather's still crap to go on the boat. And uh, March 7th is going to be our meetup. I'm thinking 9 a.m. Still not exactly sure yet exactly where. It's going to be somewhere on Oahu, but I don't know. Put it in your calendar, March 7th, 9 a.m., okay? All right, everybody, as always, tight line, stay fishing, and we'll see you on the water. Hello, everyone.